Good evening, everyone. What a great night. This is so fantastic to see such a wonderful group of people here. And thank you, Jane. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for calling the UN essential. And more importantly, thank you for being a lifelong champion for women and girls. You know, in 1995, Jane founded GCAP to address teen pregnancy in Georgia. Since then, teen births in Georgia have dropped 45 percent. Woo! And the campaign is still going to help adolescent girls lead healthier lives. Jane's also working on a book for girls next year. She's also been a forceful advocate for women's rights, serving as a goodwill ambassador for the UN Population Fund and a board member for V-Day, which works to end violence against women. So whether it's through her books, her videos, her personal example, and her activism, she inspires me and women all over the world to lead healthier, happier lives. What a third act. Thank you, Jane. So tonight, our awardees work across issues and across the globe, but they tell a common story how one person or one group can create change. And of course, there's no better example of this than the Foundation's chairman and founder, Ted Turner. Ted's groundbreaking gift to start the UN Foundation, as Jane said, galvanized citizens all over the world to support UN causes. But not only is he a trailblazer in philanthropy, Ted is a defender of the environment and a crusader for global peace and security. Thank you, Ted, for your unwavering support of the UN, your unapologetic vision of a better world, and your unshakable commitment to making that vision a reality. We are also privileged to have a number of our board members here tonight. We have just finished a great board meeting in New York. Will you all please stand so I may introduce you? Her Majesty Queen Rania from Jordan, Fabio Barbosa from Brazil, Gru Harlem Brundtland from Norway, Igor Ivanov from Russia, Yuan Ming from China, Narayana Murti from India, Emma Rothschild from the United Kingdom, and of course, Tim Worth, who brought Ted's idea to life and whose lifetime of service we will honor tonight. So tonight's dinner benefits the United Nations Association of the USA, which is helping create a new generation of US supporters of the UN. For over 70 years, UNA members, starting with Eleanor Roosevelt, have told the story of the UN to Americans across the country, and now, with UNA as part of the UN Foundation, we together have built the largest network of US supporters of the UN. Over our first 15 years of the foundation, we have connected hundreds of thousands of people to the UN through partnerships that achieve real results, from keeping kids alive, to promoting sustainable energy, to strengthening support for family planning. By focusing on solving problems, Together, we are moving from charity to change. So together, we've accomplished a lot, but we're just getting started. This is the moment, this is our moment, to erase extreme poverty and protect our planet. We're grateful for everyone in this room, including our Global Entrepreneurs Council and our many partners. We look forward to continuing our important work together. And of course, our most important partner is the United Nations. So I'm very happy to introduce our first speaker tonight, Deputy Secretary General Jan Eliasson, a man who very much defines modern diplomacy. From his earliest experience as an exchange student in Indiana, through a term as Sweden's ambassador to the United States, he knows and appreciates the special relationship between the US and the UN. He's also a man who gets the job done. Serving as the President of the General Assembly and Sweden's Ambassador to the UN, he oversaw such creations as the Office of Humanitarian Affairs and the present-day Human Rights Council. He's launched an urgent call to action on sanitation, another essential issue. He's a great leader in the dog hammer mold, and it's with great pleasure that I invite him to the stage now. 
Jan Eliasson.